Hey, Lynn. The honeybees are gathering pollens from the apple blossoms. John, remember Dr. Fung's lecture on external benefits? I wonder if the apple orchard is generating external benefit for the beekeeper. Yes, Lynn. I do remember. But the bees are also pollinating the apple trees. Could that also be an external benefit to the orchard? Wait a minute. Dr. Fung says that we should not jump to any conclusion about the existence of external benefits. Right, Lynn. Maybe the beekeeper is paying the orchard for the benefit of providing nectar to the bees. Or maybe the orchard is paying the beekeeper to provide pollinating service. Let's ask the bee. Hey, Mr. Bee, are you happy with the apple nectar? Are you kidding? Apple blossoms really suck. They do not have good nectar at all. Dr. Fung. Lean and I are at the Jones Orchard and the Busy Bees. We are wondering if there are reciprocal external benefits between them. Good question, John and Lynn. External benefits exist only if the recipients do not pay for them. How can we tell if external benefits exist? In this case, you can tell by visual inspection. Just look over at the orchard. Do you see any Busy Bees hives scattered over the orchard? Dr. Fung. We do. The busy bees beehives are scattered among the apple trees. But what can we tell about external benefits from this? Okay, apple blossoms are not a good source of nectar. A beekeeper normally would not like to be located near an apple orchard, unless he is paid to do so. So, the location of beehives inside the orchard shows that the orchard must be paying the beekeeper. But couldn't the bees pollinate the apple blossoms without the hives being located inside the orchard? Yes, but not very well, because the bees have limited flying range. But the bees still got some nectar from the apple blossoms, right? Shouldn't the orchard be paid for the nectar also? Good question, John. The pollination fees paid to the beekeeper will be adjusted based on the potential amount of honey produced. So the beekeeper would be paid less for the pollination service if the crop produces better and more nectar, right? Exactly. Remember, the market can normally internalize most so-called external benefits between property owners. If the transaction costs are low, this observation is known as the cost theorem. Be wise, what you see may not be what you think.